Okay. Oh. So I built these bench drawers 12, 15 years ago. I, I don't remember. I think somewhere in that time frame, and I'm not going to look it up now. And at the time, I used these simple undermount kitchen drawer slides for the drawers. They're cheap. They had a 75 pound rating. I thought they'd be fine. And they were fine for a long time, but uh, could be that I'm just loading them up too much or they've just they've just done it. But there, there you go. It's they get stuck. So I happen to have some full extension slides that I salvaged a little while ago and I was hanging on to and I yeah, if you saw my last video when I did the storage cabinet, I cleared out this drawer and I wanted to start sorting and stuff. And I, I think the first thing I'm going to do is to replace the slides with some full extension because, adding to the complication, I bought a bunch of these. These are like 10 bucks for a set of six at Home Depot. They're practically giving them away. And I don't know that I want the lid, but I thought they might make nice organizer trays. But then I need a full extension drawer. I can't have this three-quarter is extension because then you can't get to the back. Yeah, I'm just rambling on way too much here. Basically, I'm going to swap some drawer slides to hopefully, again, continue improving the storage in my shop. My workbench cabinet is just an open box with some drawer slides. Really basic, simple construction. Well, unfortunately, I've only got two sets of drawer slides, but and I got four drawers, but only two of the drawers were the problems. So hopefully, we can just well, you know, all I've got is two, so that's all I can do. Here's one of the slides, and I'm not sure you get the camera to focus on that. So this little roller wheel here is bent like that. I think just uh, years of moving in and out and torquing and pushing on the drawer or whatnot has just bent this little wheel and that's why it is catching and getting jammed and all that regularly. So the nice thing about these slides is that they're L-shaped so they wrap around the bottom of the drawer which I think gives it a little bit extra support whereas uh, your standard full extension, it's completely depending on the screws going into the side of the uh, drawer unit. It is really tight quarters here, which makes it really hard to uh, show you anything on the film or to pick out an angle or whatnot. So it might really not have been the uh, European slides after all. I put the new slides on and the drawer was just not fitting right. And so I pulled out my tape measure and you know drawer slides are like a half inch thick. So your drawer box needs to be an inch narrower than the opening. And mine was off by like 3 sixteenths of an inch or so. So I've got these thin, they're just over an eighth of an inch thick pieces of wood that I'm going to pad out the thickness of the drawer and hopefully that will take care of things. Thing. Feels like I'm hitting something. I wonder if the box gets narrower on the back. Something's weird going on. 21 and just under 3 eighths. Twenty-one and a quarter. That's interesting. So the drawers were made fine, but the opening here has spread. I need to fix that. Here's what I did as I took that 1 8 inch piece of wood that I'd made for the side of the drawer and instead I wedged that here and that took out this bow that had happened. I'd made this cabinet to fit this opening. The, ca the, the bench was made first and the cabinet was made to fit the opening and it had shifted a bit and bowed a bit over the years. So I put a screw in here to help pull it back that way and the wedge on this side and there we go. That is a decently smooth running drawer. OK, 
kind of ironic that the heaviest drawer I'm still leaving on the old rollers, but this one has always been fine. So much for this being a 10 minute job. Got the drawers cleaned out. Just got the mess to put back. We'll see you next time.